Hi, my name is Bob Lanning and I work for Premier Healthcare Alliance based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We are a large group purchasing organization specializing in healthcare group purchasing. We also provide decision support services for our, our hospitals uh, to provide them access to data on their spend, their outcomes, and their, their general financial health. And I happen to be the senior systems engineer. Uh, I specialize in virtualization technologies along with the Windows platform. And I brought VMware in here about 2004. Uh, so we've been along that road for quite a while. So the impact of my organization, if, if we had downtime, we do a lot of software development for our hospitals. We take the data that they feed us, we customize it and we provide it back to them. A lot of that data is based on outcomes of health and the faster they get that data and the reliability of getting to that data is critical to them to be able to provide the best healthcare possible. We have real-time feeds of data from some of the hospitals that help uh, prevent uh, infection breakouts in the hospital. And without that data, without the alerts that they would get when that kind of event happens, it'd be very uh, catastrophic to the hospitals. Uh, we also have members trying to purchase uh, all day long, and that's the core of our business. We get most of our money from our purchasing. And so with our systems offline and the customers not being able to purchase, they could choose to go, pay, go via paper and purchase outside of our contracts, which we would not see any benefits from. So it'd be very, we, very critical. I'm not sure we've ever calculated the actual dollar per minute feature, but it, it's very critical to them. And they scream, and as an IT person, that to me is the, the bottom line. Originally, our DR plan was probably like a lot of others. We, we had a, a small DR facility, probably not far enough away from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we used really physical servers to replicate or, or to mirror the, the data in our production environment. We used um, some third-party hardware and replication technologies along with some early orchestra orchestration software. But even prior to that, we had just physical servers that we stood up in that data center and we installed the OS from scratch. We installed the applications. And then we had run books, very, very large run books uh, for when we restored the data, traditional backup and restore, we restored the data to the site and then the DBAs or the app admins, whatever, had to go through reconfiguration of all their software so that it would work in that new facility. So it was very archaic and we, with that, the, the complexity of that meant that we had to go to the business units and really get a commitment from them that we're gonna have to purchase some hardware, so there's gonna be a significant cost. And you're, you're gonna have to be involved, our app management team's gonna have to be involved, the DBAs are gonna have a huge involvement for us to recover that app. So we didn't end up protecting anywhere near all of our production apps. There was a select few where they considered them very, very critical and willing to put in that effort. After Zerto, uh, we now sleep at night. So we, we had already decided that the, the distance, the regionalness of our DR plan was, was not enough. Uh, some of our hospitals were complaining and some requirements we had, both the government and so forth, meant that we really needed to move our DR site anyway. So we, we got a location in Virginia, a brand new location, and we had a chance to start fresh. At that time, we had to look for something more automated because many, many more of our products were being required to be uh, replicated to DR. So working with one of our local VARs, well, we were introduced to Zerto. And, you know, like everybody else, we sit in there and, and they say, this is the greatest software ever. It's the easiest thing in the world to implement. We'll give you 20 minutes, you'll be up and running. And as skeptical IT people, we say, yeah, right. We've heard that before, everybody says that. Uh, I've had almost 30 years of it and, and I haven't seen that yet. VMware was fairly there but nothing else had compared. So we sat and worked with some great people from Zerto on the phone and literally in 20 minutes we had Zerto up and running and I was protecting a couple of our instances in our then our old DR site uh, and it was amazing. We couldn't believe it. So we, you know, we tested for a very short POC and it worked exactly as planned. So now uh, we don't have the challenge of going to our business units and asking them to participate. We, we looked at the cost of Zerto versus the headache and the time and effort of going through the interviewing process for all our applications. And we decided that it was just as easy for us to protect all production applications than go through that effort. So as of today, all of our production VMware instances are replicated to DR via Zerto. And we all sleep at night. We guarantee that's gonna be there. We still have some legacy physical hardware and those are still some fights. We still use some third-party replication 
but typically our DR test now and definitely in the event of a DR, we would be done with our part of it probably within an hour and we would be waiting for those legacy systems to come up. We have a, a very large uh, VMware environment. We have probably 45 hosts. Uh, we have a little over 1700 VMs. Uh, and, and we do a lot of development. Like most shops, you know, we have one production environment, but there's three and four and five iterations of development. So, you know, of the 1700 VMs, we have about 600 that are production. And those are the ones we're covering with Zerto. Uh, we have probably 27 VPGs set up, virtual protection groups. Uh, and that's to let us group the apps together, which is super convenient because if it was one big monster thing, or if we think of other, other replication technologies that are based on the entire data store, that wouldn't let us be very granular in our testing or, or how, we, how we can control and how we can feed those apps and how we can ensure that they come up in the right order. So having that, that capability within Zerto really helps us out a lot. At this time, I believe we're protecting a little over 105 terabytes. So fairly large load uh, and, and the setup is very simple. Obviously the initial seed of that data takes a little while, but then the bitmap syncing and the things that happen after are amazingly quick. And again, we're seeing sub 10 second timing on that. So, you know, we, the, some other technologies that say they can do this and give you 15, 30 minutes, an hour, that's fine if your users will accept that. My users wouldn't want it. They want the data the way it was a second ago. Anything less than that is imperfect. So. With the, the physical environment we had originally, there, there was no good test plan. We couldn't really bring up the applications in a pure test without shutting down totally production. And again, based on the effort of the application management team, they had hours and hours and hours of reconfiguration just to get to the point where we could test. So we didn't test. We, I, I think I remember running one DR test on a very, very small set of applications that could be tested. Uh, now we do quarterly testing and our app management team loves us because now we go to them and say, here's your job. If production is good, DR is good. And they looked at us like, what? I said, you see those big run books you have? Just throw those away. And if it's working in production, it'll be working in DR. So now they have nothing to do. And quickly we can have them up and running and they have standard smoke tests and, and QA testing that they do anytime they do a new release. They simply turn those automated tests on and in a matter of a few hours or less, we've had the whole environment tested and checked off. Could I recommend Zerto? Uh, very much so. If you are an admin or an engineer or, or a data center person and you have the, the nightmare of wondering, are you gonna survive a disaster? What's gonna happen? Zerto takes all that away. If you run sort of like we do, we're probably 98% virtualized. So most of our critical stuff is in VMware and with just a, a small turn on of a button, that whole load is protected. And if you want to do that and sleep at night, uh, I definitely recommend Zerto.